right. And I'm not a part of your real life. And I guess I'm just your fake friend. No, that's not what I said. I mean, can't you understand how hard it's been for me being stuck in this library, barely being able to move? Believe me, I understand what that's like. Josie, I didn't mean it like it's that. It's fine. I have to go. See you around, McKenna. Josie, wait. Want to see tomorrow for tutoring? <laughs> no. I think we're done with tutoring. You know, you've really gotten the hang of reading, so. You don't need me anymore. I'll tell Mr. Wu, okay? Your next math quiz is next Tuesday. And, wait, before y'all trample me like a herd of rhinos, this is a list of book titles. You can choose any one of these to read. And next month, on the 15th, you're gonna give an oral report demonstrating your understanding of the book's content and themes. See you tomorrow. The 15th? That's the day after the qualifying. I you know. Looks like we're gonna be crazy busy. There's no way I can do it. There's no possible way I can do it. It's gonna be okay. I'm sure you'll be fine. Thanks. Bye. Bye. This love broken, we can't fix it. We tried and tried and got more distant. the window with the wind one night that's too big for me to fight Glad you came. Hey, that's what friends are for. Real friends. Right. <laughs> this place is pretty cool. I know it really is. Oh, easy, Dusty. Easy now. Hey, Josie. Is is that the horse I'm gonna be riding? No, that's Dusty. He's a new horse. New horses like Dusty get spooked at the littlest things. You'll be riding Snowflake. Come here, Snowflake. Come here, girl. Come on. She's much more experienced. You're not going to fall. I'll be right there with you every step of the way. Listen, Josie. Coach taught us this cool breathing exercise that might help you. Take a deep breath and imagine you're breathing in blue skies and breathing out gray ones. So, ready? Here. Blue skies in. 
Grey skies out. Thanks, McKenna. I do feel a little better. I think I'm ready. Good eye, McKenna. I'm sure glad your friend was here. Me too. <sighs> hey, McKenna. What are you doing here? Josie invited me. I hope you're not mad. I just thought that you guys should talk. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go help Cowboy Bob groom Snowflake. I'll, I'll be back. Weren't you supposed to get your cast off today? Or was that another lie? Look, I'm sorry I lied about Josie. I was embarrassed. Okay, having a tutor made me feel like, like a loser. Can't you understand that? Maybe, but I don't understand why'd you come here instead of getting your cast off. What about making the regional team? Don't you care about gymnastics anymore? We're supposed to be in this together. Of course I still care about gymnastics. Just, Josie really needs. Right, Josie. First, you invite her on our camping trip, and then you showed her our secret handshake. I'm sorry, okay? I was excited that day. I finally understood what I was reading. I'm sure that sounds dumb. It's not that dumb. Tulane. I'm friends with Josie. But that doesn't mean she's gonna replace you. We've been friends since we were three. You mean, I've been kicking her butt since we were three. So, friends again? Friends again. <sighs> so ladies, with a regional qualifying meet just three weeks away, I expect you to make the most out of practice. That means no fooling around. That means focus. Very nice, Sierra. Good job. You've been working hard, and it's really showing. Look who it is. McKenna, ah, you've got your cast off. <laughs> That's right. Yes.
Are you sure you want to do the dismount today? Yeah. I just don't remember it being so high up. Well, it's the first time you've been up since the accident. Of course, you're going to be a little bit scared. Just take it easy. I'm kind of freaking out. Well, back off then. Why don't we just go work on the lobby? No, I only have a few more weeks. I have to keep trying. Come on down, McKenna. Come on. Come on. Why can't I do it, Coach? Well, you've healed physically, but I think the mental healing is just going to take a little more time. You can't keep putting so much pressure on yourself. But if I don't make the regional competitive team, everything I've worked for since I was three will be done for nothing. Oh, McKenna, I love that you have big dreams. You really have to take it one step at a time. All you can do is your best. The future will take care of itself. Why do adults always say stuff like that? <laughs> because it's true. Now go stretch and try not to worry so much, okay? So, are you totally psyched to get your cast off? I guess. I just don't know how I'm gonna do all of this. Get ready for the meet and finish my report for Mr. Wu. Either I'm gonna fail at the report or fall on my dismount again. Or both. It's too much for me to handle on my own. McKenna, it's okay, calm down. Who said anything about doing it on your own? You sound just like my mom. Hey, she's right. You've got me, Josie, your family. Now, I don't want to see any more tears from you, young lady. <laughs> okay, now you really sound like my mom. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> American gymnast Carrie Strug managed to finish her second required vault in the 1996 Atlanta Olympics. Her heroic move clinched a gold medal for the United States team. I remember watching Carrie Strug on TV. It was amazing. She must have been so scared, but she still managed to land that vault. break for dinner. <laughs> but you do need to carbo load. Thanks. I never thought I'd see you study the night before a big gymnastics meet. Me neither, but I have to finish this report. And it was so cool reading about other athletes. I mean, it didn't even feel like homework. So, how are you feeling about the meet tomorrow? <laughs> 